Hi, it's Jill Moray here on The Knitting Channel, and with me is my friend Kim Hoyle. Yes. Say Hi. hello. 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 See, she speaks and she sews, and that's a little insight into what we're doing. So at The Knitting Channel, of course, it's everything knitting, and we're going to continue with everything knitting, and we're going to add our secret sauce here, which is Kim, and we're adding sewing. Now, it's not going to be your mother's sewing, right? It's not going to be just, and this is what you're doing here. It's going to be, how do you make some cool things? How do you maybe hem something in a circle? How do you use that machine? How do you take fabric, fantastic fabric, that you had lying around? And look what Kim designed and made these amazing tote bags. And you were telling me that they could be end of the year gifts for teachers, which I'm coming up yes. to now, for your shopping, for your knitting even. And this is how we marry the two. Always think gifts for anybody. Gifts Every, for everybody, everybody likes to have a personalized bag that's right, theirs. including yourself, including for some light shopping. But mm -hmm. we're gonna have fun, and we're gonna teach you things, and we're gonna enjoy each other because that's what girlfriends do. And we're going to give you tips and things, and we're also gonna carry some sewing products too on the Knitting Channel, theknittingchannel.com. So, what should we start with? I think we should start with these amazing tote bags. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna tell you a little bit about what we're going to do in detail, and Kim is gonna show you how to create a pattern for this, how to sew them, and how long does it take you to make one of these? Um, the first one took a little bit more time, but once you learn your execution, it goes faster. I make one of these in about a half an hour. And so once you have your pattern, um, cut everything out and um, they're just so simple to make, so simple to put together. And, and I love them. Like look at what I love is there's different fabric inside it's completely and outside. reversible. Completely bag. reversible. Let's, let's turn that around and show them. So dun, yes, dun, dun, dun. all the way to the handles, and this is a very lightweight bag. So perfect pretty. for going to the beach, going to the so farmers pretty. market, and like you said, if you have fabrics that you've found a love for but can't find a function for, right. that have been sitting there and sitting there waiting to see the light of day. Yeah, this is a great way to do it. Where you could even use a little bit of the fabric. And you know what I would do too? I just thought about this. Like if you're going to a summer wedding and you just want a little one of these as mm -hmm. your pocketbook, can you do that too? Do I, yes, and I actually do. And a lot of times you have, have them in raw silk. So if you want something very oh, fancy and you can pick the colors that you want, same thing, reversible. So you have only one bag to store, but two bags to choose from. That's great. And it loses very, very little fabric. I am so looking forward to, to learning how to make those so I can make a bunch. And then I am going to show you how to finish a sweater. Now, I people want to see spend, how to finish a sweater. Yeah, I will show you because <laughs> no it's actually my favorite thing to do. Oh, I love to knit, and maybe it's because you can make it perfect. I'm going to show you how to weave the seams so there are no shoulder seams. Wow. How to weave it is called a Kitchener stitch, and it was invented to be used on the toe of socks. It was called the Kitchener toe, and now we use it for, for lots of things. I'm going to show you how to finish this because you spend all this time and all this effort making your sweater and putting all this energy into it, and then you have to pay someone, like me, a lot of money to put it together. And what I do with my students is I say, for that money of my doing it, I'm going to teach you. So now I'm going to teach you, and it's going to be on video, how to put in the sleeves, how to put this together, how to pick up stitches around the neck and then make a uh make a neck, like a little mock turtleneck there that matches the bottom. It's not going to be as long a rib. It'll be about half that and then we're going to fold it over. Do it this way. Fold it over so you have a nice neck. Now her pattern did not call for that. It was just a plain cardigan and it's a nice little finishing technique to add just, just an inch of a rib there. It makes it stiffer, it makes it nicer, it makes it lay you have a much little structure. better. Mm. A little more structure yes. to it. This is why I need Kim here. So we're going to be girlfriends, we're going to talk, we're going to gab. And I'm going to learn a lot because I have always wondered, does somebody knit a whole sweater? <laughs> you know, is that what the pattern is? But right. you're going to show me that. Uh, I'm going to show you. you 
little bits and pieces and it shouldn't be so overwhelming then. Right, and you know, the majority of my students don't like to get past a, a scarf or a hat. And I'm gonna show you that knitting a sweater is really easy and it's fun. You just have to learn how to, like in sewing, you cut out a pattern in a certain shape. In knitting, you increase stitches and then you decrease stitches to make that sleeve or anything else on the sweater. So join us with knitting and sewing or sewing and, and knitting. And showing the easier ways to do things so that things aren't scary and you actually might try something that you wouldn't normally think to take on and love it like we do. And I love her and you will too. It's Jill and Kim and Kim and Jill and we'll see you next time on the Knitting Channel. Bye-bye.